so I'm on rest right now. Don't think I've done any rest videos at all. So I apologize for it being nighttime, but I'm, I kind of plan on it being nighttime. So basically, here's what's going on. There's this big group of um, guys called the Sugar Bandits, right? And they just kind of run around killing people, and they're really good shots. However, they've made a really terrible base, like one of the worst I've ever seen. Um, I, I, I had one explosive charge, and I've already half rated the space just because I needed to do it quick before they got back on. However, there's still a lot more, and I think there might be even a couple more guys. Basically, it's a four-story house. Oh, just, just passing by this. Oh, what's in here? Oh, metal. I, I'm just going to leave that because I kind of need as much inventory space as possible. I'm kind of nervous right now because every time I go and raid these guys, I get really tensed up because I'm afraid they'll get back on. Oh, and there's Lonely Vegas Boy. Yeah. What a guy. Yeah, he's, he's, he's also on the server, but we're not really you know, playing together, but anyways, uh, we're gonna, gonna run over here, it's kinda hard to find in the dark, and I apologize for any sight problems, I could walk, but it takes painfully long, so just, if it takes too long, which it shouldn't, then I'll cut this part out, but, oh, never mind, there it is, so here's their base, right, they have four floors, they have this bottom floor, I placed these spike walls here so that they can't access their front door, it was kind of just being a troll. However, they made the terrible mistake of not putting window bars up there. So, me and Chase, the good fellow, we, they, ha they actually placed this foundation out here as well. So we just made a bunch of pillars and stairs, and so we, and so we built up here. Oh, okay, it's turning daytime, so I'm just going to keep it on for a little bit longer. So, the only way to get over, you have to hit the spikes, but no, that's fine. Oh, that hurts. Okay, so we're on the roof now. These spikes are actually really new. We actually attacked the sugar bandits before. Wow, look at Lonely. Sup? <laughs> and then they don't have these window bars because they're fools, and I can't get in this window, and I'm going to probably die. I'm just going to... Oh, God. I'm going to hurry and eat something real quick so I don't, you know, die once I touch these spike walls. Oh, there we go. Keep bleeding all over the place. Now, I'm actually going to use... Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks, I guess, Lonely. But, um... Anyways, so we're going to... So it's down here. Oh, actually, I guess I should real quick explain. So basically, this is the entire formation of the house. There are no doors or anything, right? Except for right here. And we blew this open with an explosive charge. There were a bunch of people in here. All these crates are full. They're, pr they're all empty now. And there's so much good loot, right? Then I blew down this door. There were two more people on this staircase. A um, storage crate underneath the box. Oh, I hope my I hope this like blood effect leaves. I'm actually gonna eat another piece of chicken. Um, there was a storage crate filled with good loot. There were a bunch of secret stashes behind the storage crate filled with like tons of ammo and crap. And so now we have this door. And if you look through, you can see that there's a couple of crates in there. And by a couple, I mean like most of their base probably. And a couple more over here, but. I'm not sure if I can get in there, because I don't quite have enough. Just a second. Take this lonely. So yeah, I'm not really with lonely, but we're friends. So, now I have to make the decision. Do I want to go in here, where it looks like they have a furnace and probably a lot of good resources, or in here where they probably have more weapons? Actually, it might... No, it hooks up. Never mind, I don't have to make a choice. See, terrible base. And recording, so he kind of stops bugging me. So, I have 11 grenades right here, right? And mostly empty inventory. I don't have full Kevlar on. I have full Kevlar, but I just wore this because, you know, no one's going to attack me, hopefully. So, so I'm just going to drop this bad boy. Actually, I'm going to hurry and eat another thing. You know what? No, oh, I only brought one large medkin. I'd rather save that just for later. So I just get right down and then run away. So, yeah, this this should take every grenade except for maybe one. It takes 10 to 12 grenades to blow down a door. I would use an explosive charge, but unfortunately there are, like, no airdrops that I've seen on this server, so I, so I don't have explosive, so I can't really, you know. I apologize for also, like, shivering in my talking. It's I'm, My room is pretty cold right now. I could go get, like a, like, a jacket or something, but I'd rather not. And I'm really nervous. So you can see this door is like way darker than that door, maybe. Yeah, probably not. It doesn't quite get dark enough yet. So yeah, and then we just keep doing this. 
Oh, now you can tell it's way darker. Hmm. Kind of. You can tell there's definitely a lot of damage going into this door. Oh, almost there. And then I'm just going to probably record a bit of transportation. I'm not going to record our base just in case someone finds this, like, server. Oh, yeah, now you can tell. Look at that. That's a serious difference. I still have five more, so. So we're just going to get up right against here. Hopefully I don't miss any of these. If I miss a single one, then I'm screwed because these things are expensive and I don't have any extras. It doesn't look like I'm going to get them. Yeah, look how dark this door is. That, that's major difference. Okay, two more. Hopefully I only need to use one. Okay, hopefully this is the last one. If not, oh well. I'd like to save a grenade if possible. Oh, that one looked like it was a bit off, but I think it still did damage. Come on, last grenade. Yeah, there we go. That's the ticket. Okay, let's run in here. Okay, look at all these crates. And sleeping bags, too. I'm going to crush these crates. I mean, these sleeping bags, first of all, just in case they get on. And then I'm going to run around and look through all these crates. I won't take anything quite yet. But, oh, this is... I'm glad I, I'm glad I got 11 because otherwise I'd be kind of heartbroken that I, you know, couldn't just use 10. Oh, okay. Holy crap! So their second floor was pretty filled, but this is ridiculous. Ton okay, so yeah, they only had they had minimal guns upstairs, so I was wondering where all the guns were. So this explains it. They actually don't have very many. I, I mean, these guys are notorious bandits. Oh my gosh, that's a ton of ammo though. Oh, they they have explosive charges. Oh, one explosive charge. So, yeah, they, I, we thought they were bluffing. I'm totally going to take all this for now. This is, like, the most essential stuff. So, a bunch of... I'm a part of the GGG, kind of like the KKK, except we're good guys. It's the good guy group. And we, we've been... We found their base, Chase and I. No one else in the GGG knows about it, because we might backstab them. Who knows? Oh, my gosh, that's a lot of picks. If Chase gets on quick, then we... Oh, oh what was in the bottom there? Oh, look at this. I'm going to snag this. I already have one. Like, probably exactly the same, but I have a bunch of stuff like silences and crap. A bit of wood. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of metal. Oh, and so much gunpowder. Oh, this is... Okay, this is totally worth it. Oh, dang. Look at all these metal, like, buildings. We don't have most of these. Okay, I'm just going to grab stuff like these pillars. I'm grabbing all the super essential stuff. Ooh, these walls. I'm I need a ton of walls for building our base back home. So, uh, these metal doorways. I'm just taking all their metal stuff. And 159 low quality metal. Holy crap! They have so many wood planks. Yeah, as you can tell, these guys are massive raiders. Like they they attack everyone, and they're really good too. This is why I'm crippling them so hard, so that they don't have anything. Cause if you don't have anything, it's kind of a morale, just destruct, just massive morale destruction. Oh, and look, th these guys actually keep stuff in these, by the way. They're just keeping minor stuff like flares and crap. How can they only have, like, one furnace? Uh, I might come back for this stuff later. Yeah, look, they keep, they keep them everywhere. And they keep most of them filled with at least one thing. And I think they might actually have them behind these crates as well. Because they had... It like that on the stairs. I'll probably actually break all these crates so they can't use them. Because it's not... Oh my gosh, I'm kind of rubber banding. Well, dang, this is a serious horde. Uh, I might give Lonely some of this stuff or trade for someone. Yeah, I'm making sure there's nothing at the bottom, either. That has a ton of ammo. Like, the the second floor was pretty filled, but this is ridiculous. This will... Yeah, for, for good raiders, these guys are really crappy at building bases. As you can tell, because I only had to break down maybe four doors with grenades and one explosive charge. So, yeah. I'd take those, except I don't really... I'm looking for anything that's, like, super important that I kind of... You know, I might take a couple stacks. Uh, see, they don't have as many bolt actions as I thought they would have. So, oh well. I'll just take this, like... I'll take these, these M4s if they go into my inventory. And, uh, I have a couple shotguns. But yeah, so basically, 
these these were the main notorious raiders on the server. So I think now that they're out of the picture, the server will actually be like really safe. Or at least for a while until they rebuild. I mean, who knows how quickly they rebuild. And this is a ton of gunpowder and sulfur. We, we were totally out because we spent all of it on our, like, metal. I mean, on grenades. Uh, I'm just checking through real quick again. See if there's anything. Uh, this one just stuck at the bottom there. Mm, okay. Um, there's a possibility that there's, like, something behind this door over here. But I'm almost positive this is just, like... Yeah, this is just an entrance door. They thought they were kind of secure. If they hadn't played, if they had placed window bars, this entire raid would have been non-existent. But now that we're taking like everything, so they weren't joking. They only have one, so I'm assuming they can only craft one. Oh yeah, this this is a pretty full chest. I'll take the like this research kit. So I'm gonna run back to my place real quick, and then, well, actually I'll just chat as I go back. So there's like literally nothing left any of these crates I could show you but it would be a waste of time I think there's a bit of leather and crap but nothing they'll be able to really use to strike back I'm making sure to take all the guns but I'll probably just you know pause for now and then I'll resume once I get back here oh ow that hurts okay Ooh, uh, uh, so much bleeding holy crap I don't, I don't think my Armor is taking too much damage, though. So, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. It took me like, I didn't want to go in the nighttime, so it took me like a day. Plus, I had to sort out a bunch of stuff at my base. Um, don't mind Lonely if he starts flipping out. He's kind of, you know, we've been, been joking around with him, so he's not pleased. <sighs> oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Dude, I'm gonna die. Darn. What's wrong? And <laughs> I know for a fact that Lonely might actually see this, so I'm gonna try not say anything. <laughs> oh, I went in without bleeding on that spike for once. Oh. <sighs> yep, that's what I thought. Darn. <laughs> it's time. I'm not actually sure if there's anything on this floor above me. I'm assuming there's not. But seeing as how many grenades I got out, I might, you know, blow it down just for kicks. They could probably repair this base. I mean, I, I'm only breaking most of the doors. Of course, all the loot is gone. And that's probably what, what brings this base its character. I'm actually going to grab these shotguns because Lonely wants to get a shotgun. He claims he has one with um with a flashlight on it and full attachments, but I haven't seen like any like that. So F1 grenade blueprint, I'll snag that so no one else gets it. Uh, ooh, I'll actually take these as well. And these, I'm just taking anything I can stack. Uh, I'm gonna take all these MP5s. In my base right now, actually, all of my guns are kind of stashed together. So, oh well. It's being glitchy. So, I'll probably actually split it up like they have, like shotguns in one, and force another. Actually, I'm going to check at the bottom of the crate make sure there's nothing down there. Okay. Um, nothing in that one. I'm just making sure all of these crates are pretty empty. I'll take these P250s, actually, because they're not, they're not bad. Or these 9mm, not the P250s. They're not too bad. They do a decent amount of damage. You can, on some occasions, headshot one kill. Sometimes they don't do the one kill, though. Uh, I'll leave this for now. That's a lot of ammo, and I'd rather not take it quite yet. Oh. From what? Poor Lonely. Um, actually, I think I'm going to snag all these attachments. I hope Chase gets back, because... Oh, he's not going to get stuff back, probably. Poor guy. Crap. This is a bit unprofessionally just chatting away with him, but whatever. Whatever. Oh, this metal is going to be a pain to carry back. It's going to take one trip just for metal. I don't even have that many crates for metal. I'm just looking at... Uh, I'm actually going to... I can't actually fit anything else. What's one thing that I can, like, carry? I don't want that gate. 
eventually I'm just gonna smash all these chests so whatever I don't take they don't access either um, just gonna see how much I can take of that okay that's fine uh, how much I can take of this okay oh, plus 10 more uh, I'll take as many shotgun shells yeah there we go and uh, we're actually probably the shortest on shotgun shells, so I'll just take that. So now I just have to get back there. I'll, I'll, this is a bit of a short segment, so I'm actually, well, the like playbacks, I'm actually going to check these chests one more time. They, they should all be mostly empty ex except for one, which has some cloth. Oh, look at this. Uh, I don't need these. I have tons of those. Do I want low grade fuel? Yeah, low grade fuel is better than animal fat. This should be empty. These have a bit of sulfur, like one sulfur rock in each of them, so that should be fine. This one has leather and cloth, which I'm just going to leave. Actually, no, I'm probably going to break this chest. And then I think these have, like, leather. Yeah, leather armor. But I don't want leather armor. I'll, I'll smash all these crates in the end, though. Actually, here, let's take a look. I can't see anything in there, so I'm assuming there's nothing. I'll probably break it down anyways, just because of all those grenades I got, but... Oh, that was a nasty noise too. I apologize, but that was a jumping noise. So there you go. Okay, so I'm I'm just gonna, I'll be right back again. Okay, so I'm actually here with Chase. He's not on the call right now, but I I totally forgot to restart the recording. Oh, he, he's talking to me now. Get out of here, Chase. Okay, so I just grabbed some wood and some of that. He grabbed a bunch of stuff as well. Chase, you sound really terrible. I can't even like understand you. I can barely understand you. Just get back to base. So yeah, I'm just I'm just checking all these crates real quick. Most of them still have a little bit of stuff, but I think we're we're overall pretty much pretty much emptied out the house. Uh, I'm actually gonna take stuff like this, like these gates, these foundations, these stairs. I use so many stairs. Um, I'm gonna leave that gate. Oh, I keep like bouncing. This sulfur, I mean, this gunpowder is going to be a pain. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. I'm going to grab us. I'm going to grab half the gunpowder and half the sulfur. I mean, and half the, yeah. Half gunpowder and half, no, no, I don't know. I'm trying, I'm trying to get as much as I can. And gunpowder is extremely valuable, especially with this much metal now. Now we can make a bunch of grenades. So that's about half of the gunpowder, and now I'll take a few of these large med kits. Or actually, is there anything in here still? I apologize for my loud mouse wheel, by the way. It's quite loud, I realize. Wait, oh, I can combine these to save space. I actually don't want those on my hotbar. I don't need this F1 grenade blueprint. Um, yeah, that should be actually be about it. Um, Anything else? I think I think I might take some of that leather cloth upstairs. Um, yeah, these crates are all empty. This crate still has some gunpowder though. And it's a lot of gunpowder. Uh, I can't. If I'm I'm just gonna grab all this for now, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna smash all the crates that don't have anything in them, so that they can't use them later. All right, thanks you guys for watching. This was kind of a semi-raid on the Notorious Sugar Bandits. I don't think we'll be seeing them anytime soon. I might do some more Rust videos in the future, who knows. But I know I already kind of give a semi-outro, but this is more professional. So don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe, like, anything you want to do. And I'll see you next time. So thanks for watching.